What actually is Jevons' paradox, and is it still relevant today? Well, in 1865, William Jevons described an effect initially related to coal, but it can be applied to other resources as well. He saw that machines that were using coal for fuel, as they became more efficient, they needed less coal to complete a given task. However, because the machines were now more cost effective than they were before, their use became more widespread. This meant, as a result, that despite each individual machine requiring less coal to operate, the total amount of coal needed to power the machines is greater and not less. And that's the paradox. In other words, increasing efficiency leads to increased resource use, not less. At least that was the case during the Industrial Revolution. But is the paradox still valid today? Certainly, it appears to happen to other power sources like electricity and also other consumer goods such as mobile phones, cars, computers and televisions. However, is this directly related to the price of these goods falling or general increases in purchasing power and it's that increase in purchasing power that's a ex wider expression of Jevons' paradox. This is of course one immediate limit to this kind of rebound effect backfiring as described in the Jevons' paradox. And that's time lag. Because the new and more efficient piece of equipment has been produced doesn't mean that immediately all the old pieces of equipment are junked and every company and every individual gets a new piece of kit equipment to replace it. Many items have a long lifespan and the cost of replacing it far outweighs the initial efficiency of a new product that it might give you. However, in most developed countries this time lag is becoming reduced due to rapid technological improvements and a low tolerance among consumers for what's perceived to be outdated pieces of equipment and the desire to have the latest thing, even if the older model is still functioning perfectly well. However, examples can be found due to odd circumstances where this hasn't happened. For instance, using Cuba as an example. Now, due to trade restrictions that were in place in Cuba, people were not able to import new cars to the island. And as a result, they extended the life of their old cars well beyond what would normally be thought possible. In fact, to such a point where the old cars themselves are actually now part of the tourist attraction. However, with new and efficient cars now able to be imported into Cuba, this may all be about to change. Potentially, lots more new cars on the roads and traffic crowding may become more of an issue. But will fuel consumption rise or fall? In Cuba's case, additional cars are unlikely to have much of an initial effect, purely because most Cubans can't afford to buy new cars. So the changeover is going to be pretty gradual and fuel usage is not likely to have a substantial impact. However, such a gradual change hasn't occurred in China, where rapid economic growth has led to change from the bicycle to the motor car as the preferred mode of transport. As a result, there's some of the worst traffic jams anywhere in the world, along with a massively increased pollution. Now, it also has rapidly growing need to import oil to fuel all these cars. But this change from bicycle car to car wasn't actually driven by an increase in efficiency. In fact, the bicycle is the most energy efficient means of transport. Instead, the rise in disposable income and the aspiration of being a car owner has led to its increased use. But is this general rise in the world's disposable income also part of the Jevons paradox? As people have more money to spend on phones, televisions, cars and other goods, they now have far more material goods than they did a generation ago. But the drive to get more and more things continues. It appears that no matter what level of material assets and wealth is achieved, no comparable level of satisfaction is also reached. As we get more efficient at producing things, the things become comparably cheaper. We want more things. And that's probably the state of the current Jevons paradox in the world today.